Good morning and welcome back to Bung Samba Tuam, or as it's going to be known now, thanks to Graham Wall, Goose Lake. We're going to be fishing through the day and the night. We've had to fish over on the far bank to start with because the main bank's full of people fishing already. A bit later on when the tides start to go home, we'll be able to move over to the first bank where we want to be fishing and that's right next to the rooms that we've rented. Hopefully between us we'll see some interesting fish. Ah, oh, that's the wrong fin. Yeah, it's a Mekong. First fish though, goes to Richard. I'll do it. Woo! You're alright, mate. It's about five, six foot deep straight off the edge there. If you ended up in, you'd. Uh... Not bad. Not bad at all. Clean as well. Did you hook it in the mouth? Oh yeah, that's right. I thought you'd hooked it in the fin then. Seems like Danny. Yeah. Not bad, eh? Not bad at all. Good for that. Calm down, mate. Calm down. Oh, you wanted Dave, Yeah, it is. That's all right. Fishing, I'm fishing about the same range as Rick, so I'm hoping that. Uh, was it that close in? Was it? It, it was barely six inches off the edge of the grass there. Really? <laughs> I should have struck it a little bit earlier, but I was all the way down there. Never done me any harm. <laughs> when it's going beep, 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 I'm like, I oh, can't be me. Can't be me. I never catch fish. <laughs> Really, mate, lovely. Get your fat fingers out of the way, can I'm trying to... Yeah, first first fish, first blood. My girl. Like no one jam, cracking. It's been quite chilled now, picked him up. Hmm. Good skills, mate. Get him back, and then uh, Dave can go and catch him on the waggler in a minute. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully, mate. Right? Oh, put him in over there. We'll get to, to the water a bit. Need to christen me new reel. The extra long handle uh, coming in handy. Come, oh, mate. Piss off. Let's get back under that cover. There we go. Put it there, mate. Good skills. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, little Rohu. I do like a Rohu. Is that on the short line again, mate? Yeah, yeah. Same one. Oh, it's coloured fish as well. It's going to kick, it's going to kick. Sit, relax. And there you go. Little Rohu, close in. Same again. One out in the middle of the eight. Nothing's... He's got a Rohu as well. No way. I'll get him back. Oh, uh, down it's well. difficult. On the float. On the float. What you reckon? Nine pound? That'll be close, yeah. Net weigh 1.2. 2.8 pounds, I think. That's 12, 12.1, 12.1. And I think the double. I think the head of the we have to check it, but the one that bunks around the head of the net there weighs 2.8 pounds, I think it is. And then we're gonna brace shut for you. That is a Get the heads to the middle, isn't it? Oh you can work like that, be nice. You got it red? Yeah. Sorry, mate. 
two different spots. He's he just catches his close in and he catches his in the... That's a nice rower, mate. Yeah, but he's cracking, that is, mate. Nice yeah, one, I'll let you hold up my fish. I'll, I'll hold up yours. <laughs> oh, we're going to kiss. <laughs> he's twice the size of that. Oh, I meant you, pair. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Nice shot. Fantastic. Right, mine's been out the water for a while, so I shall get him back. And he's lovely, though, isn't he, Rich? Look at that. Yeah, perfect, isn't it? Lovely colouring to him as well, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, lovely that. Alright, next set. Are we putting them back? Stick them both in the same net, and I'll try and get them back. Nothing, mate. Shouldn't wind you up. You'll be having like five or six big Siamese carp later. Probably, that's what normally happens. What's going on with your chest? You remember what happened with, um, yeah, yeah, I got bit by a mosquito. What was the name? Reach right, put your hand here under that, underneath that fin oh, there and safe. grab that. Yeah, yeah, like that. Then you should be able to balance him. That's a nice fish. Oh, you're getting in the way of the camera. Oh, sorry. First Mekong in five years, I guess. It's been a while. Nice to do it, mate. Beautiful nice condition. He's got a row as well. I'll and another fish on over, over there. there. I'll get him back. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> always. I think she might be over you, Richard. Definitely over me, yeah. Might be a good idea to... Yeah, you want to go around there? I'll stop you with the rod. Because I'm on the side. Are you there? Yeah. You go around there now. Yeah. Got a feeling this is where Carl ends up in the drink. Whoa! You alright? Oh, mind your head. Slice your head open on some rusty uh, corrugate. <laughs> Lie down with it, show it is like basically take as big as you Take your mask off, babe. What? Huh? No, because yeah. I'll take a picture of you. No, man. It's okay. Just take your, pull it down. Don't worry about it. It's fishing. No, you don't need to look like a glamour <laughs> queen. Very good. Good smile. Good yeah, smile. Look up. Huh? The fish is probably the same body weight. Get it onto oh. it. Big legs. Look at how many bugs are in there. Way.
Oh! Siamese! Get the net, get the net, stop messing around! You really carefully don't slide down that bank. They are buggers to handle, aren't they? Uh, and when they get all slimy like that. No! Must you be just keep an eye on my rod, please. Right Smallest one I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, Bigger yeah. than the ones you've had, eh? <laughs> Today, anyway. It is about the smallest, isn't it? Yeah. I, haven't yeah. I, haven't, yeah. I haven't seen one come out of here yet. Get in. Whoa. On the old flow. You're averaging bigger size than that? Bigger yeah. Than that, yeah. yeah. Sun coming off it, that looks cracking. It's a real nice one, though. Happy you moved. How long did that take? Five minutes? Ten minutes? Five minutes, first cast, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Move round to the. Uh... My other rod went off as well. I thought that was going to be a sign. So it might still that be on, on that other rod. It, it feels snagged, but it also feels it like something. It's coming up to five o'clock. The lake closes at five, but there might be still some ties around, like half five, six. Uh, but there's no bait available, so once they run out of bait, they go home. Uh, because we've rented the, the bungalows behind me, we can fish until the mosquitoes eat us alive, basically. Um, whilst fishing over on that corner of the lake, I'll show you in a minute, and now we move to this corner, uh, just to be close to the bungalows, it's, it's a bit more convenient. Now a few of the ties have gone, there's some space, space along here for us. We get here, and within maybe 10 minutes, just that, we just got a Siamese on. Right, I'll show you where we was and where we've moved to. So we was fishing, fishing up at those salas just there on the on the far bank, and it was all right. We got a couple of rohu, migral, um, econ carp, carp, but it's 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 about you know a couple of hours away from it getting dark. The lake's about to close, so uh, we've moved round to the to the first bank. There's the hotel rooms just there. You can see those uh, orange rooms. So um, now a few of the ties have already going home. The rest will be going home in the next hour. We're going to be fishing from this bank. And Rich has already had that Siamese. There he is. So like I was saying, it's getting up to five o'clock and if you haven't got your bait, uh, the shop will be closed. So I think Danny might have overstocked a wee bit, but he's definitely got enough bait, that's for sure. Where's the sun coming from? It'd be better around the other way. Not that there's a lot of light, but it'd still be better this way around. I think he's bigger than mine, I don't know if he's bigger than Richard's. No, I don't so think cool. quite. I think he might go nine pound though. Do you reckon, yeah, Carl? Yeah, that now, I think. That's it, hold him right. right out, make him look big. I've got to, I've got to get You're a not probe. I like you, Rick. <laughs> I've got to make it look <laughs> yeah. big. Boy, this size of fucking day, Dave, to be fair. Yeah. I know, yeah. Well done, mate. Well done, mate. Are you going to stay in the corner or are you going to come down uh, and play with us? Well. I'll give it another half hour here, yeah. see what happens. Uh, well done. Thanks mate. That's uh, three or four rohus today. Yeah. That's good work. Get us a quick snap as well, Rick, oh, if you yeah, don't I mind. Got a micro, cracking. And Dave's just done a row. It's all happening, it's all happening. Stick him back. Feed the geese. Yeah, no could speak goose. And this is why it's called Goose Lake. What the hell is he doing? You're very special, Dan. So whereas um, us guys are down there in those uh, salas, those shouters, Big Dave has op opted for something a wee bit different. He's moved from uh, over here where he was fishing earlier, but now he's under the tree in the corner. He's doing all right, it's his second row. Clean fish though, look at him, it's been perfect. Good. Another row. Another woohoo! Beautiful. I feel sorry for the fish. <laughs> <laughs> Good fish, though. You'll want to go back now. So there's a, there's a sign here telling you about the um, 
the fish that you're allowed to take out and the the weight so blah duck blah so way yi sok blah jeans so duck are walking catfish sway striped catfish yi sok is the rohu or jean is the bigger carp 30 baht a kilo blah nin dapian uh, so blah nin is the tilapia dapian is um, Java bar, 50 baht a kilo. Um, Blaret. God, come on, Rick. Blaret, what is it in English? Garami, giant garami, 70 baht a kilo. Black guy. Why can I say this stuff in Thai and I can't remember the English? Oh, uh, feather back. <laughs> Black book. Um, you can take out this the, the Mekong, Black book. As long as it's not bigger than 10 kilos for 150 baht a kilo. Blah. Got tang. Uh, black got tang. This one down here. Black got tang is uh, Asian red tail, 200 baht a kilo. And blah chan is the common snakehead, 100 baht a kilo. So yeah, you can uh, take those fish out at those weights if you if you choose to. Uh, the, the the good thing is the, the Siamese carp. You you can't take them out, so they're going to stay here and they're going to get bigger and looking good already. Nice one Richard, well done. I'd like to stop and chat, but it looks like there's a big fish on down there, so I've got to go and get the scales. <laughs> Covered in shit, but I don't know, I ain't never really weighed them to be fair. I reckon that's a new biggie, so I'll have to do that. The other one was about the same when he wicked. That looks a bit chunkier, but the, the ones that uh, Ian's got aren't, aren't bad at all. Lovely condition though, aren't they? Yeah. I don't think we weighed any of the ones that he has, did we? That's it, leave the net there because the unorganic rat's looking a bit. I'll weigh the net, not you. Got me. That's the. I'm alright, yeah. That's it, Danny. <laughs> the fish know that everybody's gone home. <laughs> yeah, definitely, mate. Fit out, look. Waggler under the tree. Yeah, can't beat it, mate. Sitting in the shade as well, beautiful. Okay. Well, where's the sun? <laughs> <laughs> it was. <laughs> it was. There you go. Back in. Trying to get a couple of snaps for us as well. Oh, Would you yeah. So tell us, tell us about the weight of this fish. Uh, it is no, 10, fish, 10 digitally 10.2 pounds. So that's uh, yeah, 10 pounds. Yeah, a yeah. fifth of a fifth that. of uh, yeah, 10 pound three, 10 pound four ounce. Yeah, Beautiful. I don't know, I don't know. Yeah, what, Danny, talking about the ways. Anyway, it's 10.2, that's that's all I need to know. I'll take your word for it. We're not claiming any world records, so it's all good. Lovely. Fingers out of the way. The, the biggest have a mouth like a Siamese, don't they? That's about a knobhead. The knobhead master. Is that, is that a big head then, is it? But if it is a silver carp, because the mouth is different. It's um Danny it's fish on. Species, really, I think. Is that is that what is that? Is it silver car? Can you take a picture for me. Yeah. Oh. So what was that? If this ain't a Siamese carp, I will chop my head off and I will eat it because this is 100% Siamese. I'll get the knife. Do you want to catch it with that? It's a Siamese, mate. It can't be anything else. It's bouncing a bit. Went off last time. There you go. Siamese. <laughs> Get in, Dan. First, oh, second side of me, sorry. That's my rod. Dirty, isn't it? Yeah, you get him up on the mat. Get your hook out, I'll do my over. Good dirty, isn't it? He won't come in off, he's all up the fucking net and everything. Double whammy with these carp. Yeah, it was my, my first time he's carp, and you? As well. Well, you give me for that, mate. Catching Siamese, so I mean, 
good for her. What's wrong with that? Can you fish, can you boys? 50 better rod. <laughs> Now we need to get them back out okay. and get some proper big ones. <laughs> Love it, good lads. One more to put it back in there. Let's see if we can slip it in there. Let's do it together. Yeah, definitely. What are you giving me some on? 35? Yeah, definitely. Oh. I reckon a bit more. I reckon Rick's is 35. Yeah. I reckon yours is a 45. Really thick here, mate. I don't think it's 40, but it's 30 something. Right? He's a nice fish, mate. Fucking hell, Danny. Do you want Sorry, to trip mate. me up? <laughs> Make me want to keep fishing now, but. Yeah, there's all these fish in here. We're getting them bigger than this last time. Oh, sorry, mate, sir. Yeah, you know, Took you over it, yeah. Well, I'll move this out of the way for the photo, and then we'll put it back in the net. It's nice to have you on that side of the camera, Rick, on the YouTube <laughs> videos instead of me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, someone's had a shit long, haven't they? Caught it, mate. <laughs> Ready when you are down. So let's have it on the, on the floor. Lovely colours, no, dude. Come on, Dan, you got to get it off. Huh? It's a crack. A man of your stature. I'll tell you what, they're in some lovely condition here. I mean, it looks like That's it, they've already even caught all the, all the uh, little thin flaps of skin in the mouth are still good. Some mouth in there, don't it? You get that? Yep. And again, and again, one more. That's about the size of the one you have from Pilot, isn't it? I reckon it's a bit smaller. Oh, okay. I think they wanted pile it was 50 odd pounds. Sorry, and that's about 35, 34, 34. Beautiful fish, you uh, put it back because I can't be honest. Amazing, nothing, and then night time, bang! Yeah, they know, they know. They've gone home. It's like pilot, they know when they've gone home. Pound. Oh, gotta be, mate, gotta be. Look at him, he's a beauty. Yeah, I've got scales, I can't it? be bothered. Uh, Richard's been quiet for some time, hasn't he? Mm -hmm. So, the one thing about uh, fishing here is after 5 pm, there's no food. So, I brought a microwave with me and a couple of microwave burgers that'll do me for my dinner. Just had a shower, freshen up a little bit, and then um, carry on fishing like. The only people here now are us. It's basically a private lake at this point. And um, the carp know everybody's gone home. It's just uh, getting much more bites in the, in, in the late afternoon now. Was that mono extra stretchy? Mate, it's just like coily to fuck. You'll probably <laughs> you reckon you'll get away with 10 pound line down there? No, it's probably mate, really old mono, it's dried thing. out. Probably just go to 20 you want pound braid, braid, mate. Braid you, want, yeah, braid. you want a 25, 30 pound braid, or do you want a set of like that? Or you could get away with a 40 pound braid if you've got like, the English stuff. Don't be a fucking me, Kong. He's starting to feel like one, though. I'm not doing any. No, that was a me. extra silvery or just maybe it's the light at night. Do you want to weigh this one out of curiosity? If you want, I've got the scales, I'll go and get them. Oh and we got 35 odd pound here. What do you reckon? It's in pounds. What's the net weight? 2.8. Gotta be mate, that's way over. That's 40 plus that is. Oh! Oh. I'll just take your word for it. 44.5, yeah. yeah. take off 3, 41. Yeah, so I think the rubbers were 40 as well, weren't they? It's about the same size, isn't it? 
What, is it £41? It's a long fish, isn't it? Have you went up to that? Yeah, I don't think you have. Oh, that's a very good point. That's what I was just going to say, putting your hand in his mouth. Nice size fish, that one. Yeah, not bad at all. Third one on a session. What is it, 41? 41, we Similar size to the others. Cracking it, man. Lovely condition, let's stick it back. <laughs> well done, Rick, with another wahoo. Yeah, a, li a little bit of a. Uh, a uh, late night surprise that. Is the yuck already out? Yeah, it's Thank all you. cleaned up mate. What do you reckon that? What do you give yourself for that? Oh, 10 out of 10. This is the best, the best fish of the day this. Seven pound? What do you oh, say? I reckon he's bigger than that. I reckon yeah. he's an eight, eight, high eight, yeah. nine pounder. Certainly. Let's just get that bit of stuff out of there. There we go. Yeah. Oh, Late night row, screaming off. Right Whoa in the ho! Yeah. Cracking, isn't they? Get tired now though, I might be going to bed. We've had some good fish today. I've had four new species out of this lake today. Shall we get a Siamese each and go to bed? <laughs> it's that easy, isn't it? So here we are, it's the next morning. The guys fished until 3 a.m. and they, the biggest carp they had was 55 pounds. I'm gonna tidy up this morning. Had our breakfast. I'm going to tidy up this morning, get the car packed. Dave's going to carry on fishing. He wants to get his migrant carp. Uh, yesterday I was fishing on that bank in the uh, in the morning. Then at night we moved and we're fishing along here because it's close to the uh, to the to the rooms there. Dave's set up. He's going to be fishing here, trying to get that mogul. I'm going to pack up the car and I'm going to go for a walk around the lake and show you a bit more about where this is and or how the lake's set up. So now I've got a bit of time, a uh, couple of hours before we go. I've packed the stuff up. The guys are still fishing. Um, I'm going to have a walk around and show you uh, a little bit more about this lake, Goose Lake. So the way into Goose Lake, uh, bring you down this road, it's a gravel track for about 1.5 kilometers. And then you uh, eventually see the car park. This is the car park where you park um, if you're not renting the room. They won't allow you to drive in unless you're renting the room. But if you're renting the room like we are, you can drive right down to the room which puts your car and your gear right next to the lake, which is kind of cool. I asked the lady last time about these lakes, she said there was Bla Salid, uh, the little garamis. And the guy last night was out here catching frogs and setting up um, snakehead traps with just a bamboo rod and a little bit of line. Uh, he says these lakes are full of uh, little snakehead that are eating all of these uh, garamis so he wants to take them out. If you've got a, a lure fishing rod and a small frog or something you might have a bit of fun in here taking out some, uh, some snakehead. And this is why it's called Goose Lake, because there's big chickens here. Whoever set this place up had uh, you know, big intentions. There's another big car park around the back there. There's some restaurants, some big buildings, meeting rooms. All of it just looks abandoned. Here we have a massage place with your prices. This looks maybe open, not 100% sure. I'm not going to walk. Um, I'm not going to walk around these buildings. I did it the other the other week. Um, <clears throat> but there's like a big restaurant down there, a medium room, another restaurant here. It doesn't look like anybody's ever been in them. Then there's another big car park over there that goes onto this lake. There's about three lakes here. That's the lake that the guys are fishing, but I'm right at the, the other end of it. And then there's a lake here, and then another one right behind it. A couple of guys fishing here, let's ask them what they've had, let's find out what's going on here. 
I did see a Thai guy on YouTube come down here getting feather backs out. Okay, this would be a good place to show you what's going on as long as I don't get bitten by a snake. Uh, there's the raft that was in the middle of the lake. They've just moved it around and parked it on this corner. I um, don't know if you can see it. That's the little um, pontoon that you can rent that's directly opposite where Danny's fishing at the moment. And then the other leg of the lake goes up there. Um, and that, that leg of the lake here is almost as big as the first leg. And I did do it on Google Maps. This lake is 50% bigger than the new Bung Samaran in terms of surface area that I can see on Google Maps. I don't know about depths and stuff, but. So the, uh, the guys here that are fishing have told me that this lake is the same price if you want to fish it, 50 baht a rod. And apparently there's a lot of um, featherbacks in here and the tilapia are bigger and there's even Mekong in here. So never knew that. There you go, Bung Sam Ba Tuan. Or as we're gonna call it now in English, Goose Lake. Oh, this looks dodgy as hell. <clears throat> Stay on, the, ooh, stay on the screws, stay on the screws. Okay, that was the restaurant at one point. That they, um, the first time I came here, it was, it was out there in the lake and they've just dragged it over to the side and moored it here. Um, those Thai guys I was speaking to that were just around there fishing those lakes are telling me there's a lot of um, featherbacks, red tails, both the Asian and the Amazon red tails in here. And uh, they reckon it's gel prayer as well. So next time I come, uh, Fishing through the night, I'll probably uh, put out a few uh, live baits, dead baits, and see if I can kind of get something a bit more interesting. Um, there's the start of the uh, the normal pier. You can see the ties are fishing, and Danny, Danny, and Dave are just down there, and that's where we fished last night. Is just off that, and you can fish all the way down that bank, and it turns and it comes up that side until you get over there, and that's um, that's the end of the fishing for that side, unless you want to rent the the platform over there, 800 baht for the day. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this properly, but that's the other leg of the lake. When you're on, when you're on that bank there, uh, you can't really see that corner of the lake, and it opens up a lot over that side. This looks to be your weighing scale. Quieting down you two. This looks to be like where you weigh the fish. You've got the weights of the fish and there's the uh, the scales there. Can you two make any more noise? Like you answered me with a yes. So if you rent the room, uh, you can bring the car down through this gate and around the lake to the to the room. If you don't rent the room, they don't want you bringing the car in, which is fair enough. Shop for your bait, drinks, a little bit of food, snacks. There is a 7-Eleven just on the top of the road now, and Richard uh, managed to order himself a McDonald's uh, delivered to the lake last night, so food isn't too bad actually. You can, uh, you can take care of yourself. Nice one, mate. That shouldn't that shouldn't take long. And there you can see the first of the rooms. Four rooms here, 800 baht um, for the night. Clean, comfortable room. Aircon's good, and they uh, they even bring you a breakfast in the morning. Today I got the uh, the omelette which is a lot better than the uh, the blood soup that we got last time it's a bit more phalang friendly but i'm really enjoying goose lake it's amazing value for money 50 baht a rod 
800 baht to rent the room. And if you rent the room after about half five, 6 p.m. at night, the lake's yours, private lake for the rest of the night. This time we managed to get some Siamese carp out. I also managed to get some new species out of this lake. Java barb, tilapia, rohu. Richard got that silver carp. I'm already looking forward to coming down and fishing this lake again. I think the next time I fish this lake, I'm going to do some predator fishing through the night. Speaking to the staff at the lake, they were telling me that there's Asian red tails, Amazon red tails, featherback, the normal snakehead and the giant snakehead in here. Some of the guys that were fishing at the lake told me that they had gel prayer catfish in here as well. But speaking to the staff at the lake, they said they were never stocked. So I think that might be a bit of a BS. But still, fishing a predator bait could bring out something interesting, a new species. I'll leave you with some of the photos that Danny and Dave caught once I'd gone to bed. They fished through until 3am. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe. See you soon.